So, hi guys! Welcome again to the Sweden Experience! And my name is Dean and I do vlogs about bags, mostly travel, lifestyle, fashion, and anything under the sun. So, I've not made a bag review for quite some time because I've been busy with work and I've not been feeling well. So, pardon me for my voice because I feel a bit husky. Um, I feel... I still feel a bit under the weather today but I'm going to show you a bag that I've purchased from a vintage shop about two weeks ago so this bag has I'm sure I'm not going to use this bag for myself but I thought I'm going to love having it uh, in my collection so far I have around uh, 30 bags and uh, most of them are leather and I don't I have I haven't got a bag yet that's made from uh, from lizard skin uh, my bags are mostly um, calf leather or lambskin leather but this bag is um, lizard skin so let me show you the bag that I'm talking about so this bag is a handbag that came from the 1960s this is a lizard skin um, handbag very simple very structured though so you can see it's quite thin but uh, when you open it it can still hold a lot it only has this one flat uh, top handle it has gold hardware and um, it opens and closes with a clasp here on the top uh, the sides are hinged so you can open it um, for yeah you can um, open it and um, give you a, a lot more space and as you can see the leather is still in good condition I just don't know if it's um, if this uh, li particular lizard skin is supposed to patina like this over time but um, there are some um, uh, dark areas on the leather which I think is okay because um, it just adds character to the leather itself um, when if you take a closer look you can see how grainy it is uh, those are the scales or where the scales of the lizards wear and yeah uh, if we open this up it opens this wide the inner uh, aspect of the bag is lined with um, light suede it says here in the inside laser um, Linslade London made in England and it says there real lizard Inside this we only have one zip pocket That opens to just a single zip compartment There is a card slot here On the other side of the bag We have another card slot, but um, it came with Mirrors look at that even the packaging of the mirrors is so vintage and with that, we also have another, um, what's this, uh, like a coin purse, a small purse. Maybe you can put your lipstick in here. It's lined inside, but outside it is the same material, the same suede um, that we have for the inner lining of our bag. So this is made uh, by Linslade. I've not heard of that um, bag company, but I did a, a little research on that. So Linslade is also is also a little village or a little town here in England. And there was a bag shop that uh, that has the same name. Uh, probably it uh, it was from uh, the owner was from the same village as it is named. So Linslade London, it says in the inside real leather. When I went, uh, when I went to uh, what we call here in Cam in Cambridge a strawberry fair, I knew that there will be uh, people selling vintage items there. So I thought, yeah, let me try to find a vintage bag. And so did I. I found a vintage bag. Um, the lady in the store said she does not know how much this really is. But she knows that it's worth a good amount of money. And then I asked her, how much are you going to sell it to me? And then she made her price. I thought it was reasonable, so I bought it. At the time, oh no, this time, I don't know if... 
I'm going to keep it. Probably I will keep it in my collection for now. But whoever, uh, wh uh, whoever would like to make offers, I'm up to it. Let's see. I don't know because um, I just think this is a good uh, addition addition to my collection since it's vintage. Uh, most of my bags are um, just uh, yeah. Most of my bags are brand new. I bought uh, I buy my bags from stores or from uh, people but um, this one this is really good if only you could smell the leather it reminds you of uh, the yesteryears of the heydays of the handbags uh, this reminds me of the structure of the Hermes Kelly I wish I have one of those but it's still too expensive for me at the moment but I think I'm loving I, I love this if um, if only my mom was here with me in England I would um, give this to her but since she is all the way in the Philippines I'd keep this in my collection probably hand this to her or um, if ever someone makes an offer then I'll probably sell this so there you go it's very simple but very elegant bag very classy I'm planning to um, bring this bag to um, What's that? Uh, to bring this bag to a store for restoration because as you can see although the handle is still um, very um, still in very good condition it is angled to this side and I think I can just ask someone to um, angle it again uh, in the center and uh, maybe get the or maybe have the uh, metal work or the um, yeah, maybe ha have the um, metal work polished. I think this is um, stainless steel, probably. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to post this um, vlog, uh, this video on our um, group on Facebook the, uh, for people who like vintage items and see what they think about of this bag so I'm just wearing my I'm, I'm filming this I'm filming this video today the 12th of June and I'm wearing the colors of my country because it is uh, 121st Philippines in uh, Philippine Independence Day so to my kababayans in the uh, in the Philippines mabuhay at maligayang araw ng kalayaan uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much Hi guys, thank you for watching the Sardin Experience and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much!